316.11 miles per hour. Their new production vehicle land speed record, and it's owned by the SSC Tuatara, an American hypercar. Let's get into it on Mountain Roads. First off, just a massive congratulations to everyone at SSC North America. Such an amazing feat by such an epic car. So, the record. This all went down October 10th near Pahrump, Nevada, where SSC shut down a seven mile stretch of road to make their attempt. There had been rumblings by local news that there was a land speed record attempt happening, but nothing was official until today, October 19th, 2020. And if you're just stopping in, and maybe you've caught a couple other episodes of Mountain Roads, I hope you'll remember and consider doing that cellification. But let's get back to it. So you might be thinking, but it went 331 miles per hour. And you'd be right. But officially, the record is 316.11 miles per hour. So how did we get there? Well, SSC and Guinness Book of Records laid down the following criteria. The criteria required a two-way average with both runs occurring within an hour of each other to account for winds and gradients. It also required a public road and the use of street tires, street fuel, and satellite tracking. Two runs were made in opposite directions. The first run was only 301.07 miles per hour. The second run was 331.15 miles per hour, thus getting us to 316 0.11 miles per hour. Now just let that sink in for a sec. Here's where I geek out for a bit. At 300 miles per hour, in one minute, you've traveled 5.1 miles. An Apache attack helicopter's top speed is only 227 miles per hour. A 747 jumbo jet, under standard conditions, needs to be going 184 miles per hour to take off. I know, right? So officially, the SSC Tuatara just put the smack down on the Koenigsegg Gear RS. Nothing against that car. It's effing amazing too. But hey, a little competition's a good thing, right? And hopefully, someone out there is planning their response to all this. And here's the scary thing. The driver who pulled this all off, Oliver Webb, he thinks he could get more out of the car. It wasn't even at its limits. It was lousy crosswinds that was holding it back. Not only did Webb and the Tuatara set the production vehicle land speed record, they also set three other records. Another massive congratulations to SSC North America and the Tuatara. Hope you'll stay tuned for more Mountain Roads, and until next time, stay safe out there.